Assalamualaikum viewers. I'm Nasreen from Nas Creations. I hope you are all okay. Um, today I am having here for you um, chicken hoisin plus chow mein. So it's a combination of uh, two, but in one. So I'm co I'm cooking here chicken hoisin. So first we are going to make sauce hoisin sauce, and then. I'm going to cook chicken, use uh, the hoisin sauce, and then the vegetable oil, I'll cook with soya sauce. So I'm going to show you my all ingredient. So here I have got chickpea. This is the main ingredient for hoisin sauce. I've got here brown sugar, uh, garlic, pepper, tomato sauce, vinegar, soya sauce, and hot sauce as well. So whatever you want to use for you, and oil, and salt. This is for my hoisin sauce. This is chicken I have cut in the strips. Yeah, and for my chow mein, I've got these noodles, egg noodles, which I have got already started to cook to not take long. And I have chopped onions and slices, carrot and julienne, peppers. You can use any color or you can use simply red or simply green, however you like, and cabbage here. And you can use your wish uh, on your wish another veg as well plus spring onion as well so now we are going to start first to mix uh, hoisin so far but because before i'm going to show you my egg noodle i've already started to cook i put here boil water oil and salt yeah yeah so i'm starting from opening my chickpea and i'm going to drain all water So I'm going to put here in my grinder my chickpea. First I'm going to grind my chick chickpea. Yeah. yeah, so I have already grind my chickpea. Now I'm going to start to add my ingredients. Uh, salt like a teaspoon because of the amount yeah you have to do according to your amount little bit hot chili sauce i'm not going to put loads just little bit because it will be spicy otherwise um soy sauce i will put all amount in description below anyway yeah garlic uh, according to that i'll put four to five actually six cloves yeah i'm going to put here a little bit black pepper sugar brown sugar yeah ketchup i'll put after ketchup and vinegar first i'm going to grind all of this Now let me show you this because my machine is small so yeah now I'm going to turn on my pan because I'm not going to cook so much but little bit only just to make it I put oil in here I'm making hoisin sauce yeah so little bit of oil I put the chickpea and all ingredients which I have grinded in here ketchup if you don't have ketchup you can put tomato puree entirely up to you and vinegar you can put um, dark vinegar as well if you got dark vinegar it's better yeah, and now I'm going to do low flame and I'm just cooking literally like little bit only not much I should add little bit more soya here yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't need to cook loads because it will cook while I'm cooking my 
chicken so I'm just going to try uh, flavor how is A little bit chili to make a little bit more spicy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so my sauce I have cooked my sauce about 10 minutes and it's cooked. Now, this sauce you don't need to use all of them because you can save this in the freezer for two months and in the fridge approximately four or five days if you need yeah you can freeze it as well in the package. while my I'm now I'm starting to cook here my chicken uh, I'll cook halfway my chicken with little bit of salt I put here salt but I'm going to put little bit here in the chicken as well and then while my halfway chicken is done I'll start to cook my veg chow mein let's check if my noodles are ready you can use your wish however which one you like your 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 wish noodle yeah they are ready so i'm going to drain them now so here are noodles ready okay so my fry pan is getting ready i put first oil and then my chicken yeah if you if you don't want to use a uh, non-veg you can use a uh, tofu you can use paneer you can use a uh, soya instead of chicken yeah so i'm letting my chicken cook with the salt little bit of salt uh, halfway then I'm going to put my hoisin sauce in my chicken so I'm making in my this uh, wok is to have a feeling of a Chinese food and I like to use this one yeah as my chicken is to change the color and it's halfway. So now I'm going to add my hoisin sauce. Approximately in this amount, I might put two spoons. Spoon and try to check how it's. Yeah, I think it should be alright. I can add a little bit more. Doesn't matter. It doesn't make difference. Here. So while my chicken is cooking now, while my chicken is cooking, I'm going to turn on my the wok for making chow mein. And at the same time, it's going to cook. So both will be cooking at the same time. Because that's only veg, doesn't take long to cook. Oil. It's just three, two, four minutes job on me and meanwhile chicken will be ready yeah so because carrot is little bit more harder i'll put little bit two minutes before carrot first i'm going to stir fry carrot with little bit of salt it's just literally little bit yeah I will stir it for two minutes only. Yeah. Now I'm going to add cabbage, pepper, onion. You have seen before in previous video, I made this for panini. So it's literally the same, but I did not add any salt in here, but this time I'm going to add salt together. Now it's time for me to add my 
Noodles. Oh. It's feeling like ironing a, uh, some Chinese country, making Chinese food. So, I'm going to cross it. Yeah, now the Chinese to add soy sauce, dark soy sauce. As much as your quantity and as much you like. Then. And have to leave little, little crispy your bread, otherwise it's not good. And this is done. So my chicken is done. So I'm going to turn off my both chicken and chow mein. They are both ready. I'm going to do plating. Yeah, so I'm now doing my plating. If I forgot uh, to buy spring onion, my children went to Tesco and even asked me, what do you want? But I forgot, <laughs> literally. So I'll put in description below anyway. But you don't forget to buy and this is my hoisin chicken which i'm going to serve it together and just enjoy